All right, well, we now turn to our CMSE Corner, which is our monthly segment where we chat with leading professionals in the field of portable coordinate metrology. Our partners, the Coordinate Metrology Society, represent our users, service providers, and original equipment manufacturers of close tolerance, large volume 3D measurement systems, software, and peripherals. The Society is the preeminent organization in this space, and their annual conference, the CMSE, is the place to be to see the latest and greatest products in the field. CMSE 2017 is going to take place in lovely Park City, Utah next July, and Dirk and I are already looking forward to it. We're going to be there. Hopefully you will be too. Well, one of the major initiatives that the Coordinate Metrology Society has undertaken in recent years is to develop a multi-level personnel certification program. Level one is a proctored exam, testing users' understanding of foundational theory and practice common to 3D metrology devices. Level two certification is a hands-on practical performance assessment using a portable coordinate measuring machine. Of course, if you're going to have certification exams, you need to provide training for candidates seeking to earn that certification. Our, our guest on this week's CMSE Corner, Gary Confalone, offers just that sort of training and support. His company, ECM Global Measurement Solutions, is a top metrology service provider in the Northeast. Uh, he's also the vice chair of the Coordinate Metrology Society's executive committee. So, Gary, welcome back to the show. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Good, thanks for joining us. Well, let's start with the basics of the CMS certification program. What does the level one certification, for, exa for example, entail? Well, basically what it entails is the validation of a operator. Um, just to go back in the history, um, the certification committee started in 2009, and the level one test happened in 2015. Now, level one is a cognitive test, which essentially tests all the knowledge of an expert 3D metrologist. Um, we added level two certification, and what the level two would be is a hands-on certification. Now, you can visit the CMSC website, and it has all the credentials that you would need to, um, to apply. And Gary, why, why should a metrologist, either an entry-level person or a, ventra, a veteran, want this credential? Well, it's not, an, um, it, it's not a certification designed for an entry-level person. And it's really, there's, there's three reasons why, why it exists. Um, one would be, you know, most importantly, to validate the expertise of a person. Um, you know, we validate our equipment, we calibrate it, certify it, but really, up until this point, there hasn't been any way to certify or, or validate a person, which is a big part of 3D metrology. Um, a lot of the new quality management systems, whether it be ISO, AES, or NADCAP, you know, require some type of training. And you, you will get the certification and become a elite member that's listed on the CMSC website. Now, if you're an entry-level person, I think that this, this certification gives people something to strive for, um, you know, something to work towards in their career to become certified. And the, the requirement, you know, in your working career is that you've done this for two years. So, and if you're a veteran, I think recertification is important and it encourages people to stay current with the equipment and um, volunteer to help out at the society or in education because there is professional development hours that are credited towards the recertification. Gary, let's talk about the application process itself. There is a little bit of a, of a, of a process that goes on there. So what, well, what, to, go ahead. yeah, go ahead, Gary. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I, was, I, just, I think you're going to talk about the application process anyway. Yep. Well, to apply, you um, first step would be to visit the website, cmsc.org, and the application is online. The, um, prior to, the experience you require, as I said before, was two years. And to uh, fill out the application, you also have to include three professional references. Now, once all this is submitted, it goes in for a peer review, and you will be accepted or rejected, and um, at that point, sign a code of ethics. 
once you complete all this process, you can either take the exam at the annual CMSC conference, or you could take it at a remote proctor site. Um, East Coast Metrology is one of the remote proctor sites that you could take it at. So once your application is approved, how can interested parties prepare for the proctored examination itself? Well, again, on the website, there is a, um, a list of the five categories we call the body of knowledge that the certification covers. Um, first one being design interpretation, um, which is like blueprint reading, CAD, GD&T, and standards. So we'll be checking to make sure everyone has the basic knowledges of that. Um, device knowledge, uh, what equipment to use, when to use it, accuracy, environment, you know, time constraints all play a part in choosing the right piece of equipment. Planning would be the third section. Um, that's pre-measurement planning, you know, coordinate systems, error budgets, what's going to be a deliverable, things like that. Then perform me measurements is probably the most critical part of the exam, and this is your setup, your moves, your um, accuracy checks, calibration checks, things like that. Then lastly, just, just like you're doing a job, it would be data analysis. You know, the GD&T, evaluating the data, SPC, uncertainty, you know, the basic knowledge of, of all these things. And you guys at ECM do provide some training for this, correct? Yes, we do. Um, we, we provide training either at our customer's facility or at our facility here. And um, what we've done is we've got together with NPL. You know, after the first certification, as you can imagine, um, the first question out of everybody's mouth is, well, how, how can we take a course or is there a textbook? So you know, myself and Keith Bevan Bev from N NPL got together and we formed a group to put this course together. And with the course, we also have a workbook that goes with it. The course is designed to be taken in two and a half days. And on the, that third day, the half day, you can take the online exam. And again, that can be done at our facility here or at our customer's facility, where we'll just take, because it's all online, we can just take the computer and Great. set it up. And people want to find out more, they can, they can visit online at, at www.cmsc.org, correct? Yep. Great. Everything is, everything is there, and uh, you can also contact us via web, an email, certification at cmsc.org. Great. Well, Gary, thank you. Gary Confalone, thank you again for joining us here on today's CMSC Corner. We're going to see, uh, I think we're going to see you before July, but we'll definitely see you in July in Utah for, uh, for CMSC 2017. Okay, fellas, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks Gary. Gary, talk to you soon. Yep.